Good afternoon and happy Resurrection Sunday to you. I am Karen with Creative Hands, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Arlington, Texas. How's everyone doing today? Well, today you're joining me along with some fellow Stampin' Up! sisters for our Roll of the Die for April. In the description, you'll see that I have a couple of other Stampin' Up! sisters that are also on their YouTube channel um, doing the roll of the die. So after you finish watching my video, go and click on their link and see what they have created with the elements that we have for this April roll of the die. If you see anything that I am creating with today that you would like to purchase, you can go to my online store at karenfinley.stampingup.net. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's go on and get started. The elements for our April roll of the die had to be neutral colors, had to have some coloring, which is out of my comfort zone, had to have a congrats, had to have texture, and it needed to be clean and simple. So, the colors that I chose out of the neutral was the Blackberry Bliss and the Basic Gray. I've already pre-cut my um, I've already pre-cut my paper, and I will share the measurements with you in a minute. But I'm also going to show you what supplies you would also need okay so I am uh, working off of three different stamp sets and I'm using images from one and um, sentiments from two of the other ones here for this hello beautiful um, I am using the this calls for a celebration um, stamp but this is a beautiful set um, it has a thank you it has some images here and it has 26 images on it the next stamp set that I'm using is this happiness abounds the happiness abounds um, sentiment that I'm using is going to be this congratulations and I like those um, sentiments because they're very elegant and um, pretty. And then you have some images that you can use as well um, that has the florals with it. And the last stamp set that I'm going to be using is the Cottage Rose. I'm going to be using this image here um, for my focal point for my um, card for the front. And then we had to have some texture. So here I have the time-worn type embossing folder. And I want you to see what that looks like. Gorgeous and beautiful, gives you some good texture. And you're going to be needing some inks. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm using the Blackberry Bliss paper. And then you're going to need some um, black Memento um, ink so that I can stamp my image. And I'm going to be doing some coloring um, with our Stampin' Blends. So you want to use the Memento when you're using the Stampin' Blends so that you can get um, a nice fresh colors. Here are my Stampin' Blends here. And I am using Let's see, the light smoky gray and the dark smoky gray. Either one of them will work. They come in a pack of two. You have a light and a dark. And I'm going to be putting some bling on there. Got to have some bling. And I'm going to be using some ribbon. These are just some additional elements that I'm going to put on my card. Then these are some... Um, some glue dots um, for me to put my ribbons down on. 
I also have my little take your pick tool that I'm going to be picking up my diamonds with. You always need your bone folder. Um, here is my um, blending brush. I'm going to do a little bit of blending, just a little bit of blending. Then I have my multi-purpose glue. And I also have my Stampin' Seal. You can use whichever one um, you would like to use of your choice. And then I have um, Stampin' Blocks to put my stamps on. Okay. So I'm going to give you measurements um, as I go along. And you'll find them too um, below. So, I have a card base that is 11 by 4 and a fourth, and it's already cut, but I'm going to go on and score it, and I'm going to score it at 2 and 3 fourths, I said I'm going to score it, so I'm going to make sure that I do not cut, so I'm moving my cutting blade out of the way, so I'm going to score at 2 and three fourths and then i'm just going to slide that over and score at five and a half okay that's my blackberry bliss then i have another card base that is three and a half by ten and i am going to score it at those same score marks which is two and three fourths by five and a half. Okay. And I think that's all that I'm going to need with my scoreboard here. And then you're going to need um, another cor corresponding cardstock. You're going to need a piece that is four by five and a fourth you're going to need one that's going to be um four and a fourth by three and a fourth you're going to need two that are going to be two and a half by four you're going to need um, a scrap piece for your image to be stamped on, and then you'll need a scrap piece for um, your sentiment. But this one is two and a half. Let me see. So my greeting is two and a half by three and a fourth. Okay, so those are your dimensions for your card. So, what I am going to do is for the element of surprise, we're going to go on and stamp first. And then we can put everything together because I have to color. So, I am going to take my image here and I am going to ink this up with my memento ink okay so i'm just going to just ink this up really good okay and then i'm going to turn this over and i'm going to put this here so that i can get some sense of where my center is but you can put it wherever you want so i'm going to stamp this and put it right here in the center. Okay. Um, let me just set that right there so I can get a good adherence. Okay. So there is my image. And here we have what we call chamois which cleans our stamps. So as I stamp, I clean. 
and I'm just going to clean that stamp off. Okay, you can see it's clean. Okay. And then now what I'm going to do is start coloring my image. Uh-oh. I had another image that I needed to stamp. Give me one moment. That was my cottage rose. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I also am going to be using another image because I wanted to um, stamp on my ends. So I'm going to use this one right here just to put some flowers right here in the corners. Okay. So I'm just stamping. I'm inking up this little stamp here. Okay. And so I'm going to just take this image here, and that's the only one that I inked up, and I want to just put that in that corner. Okay, just like that. I'm going to ink that up again, and I'm going to put it in the other corner. I'm just going to take this one and put it in this corner. Okay. There you have it. Again, I'm just going to clean off that stamp. And there's no rhyme or reason to how I stamped it in the corner. You can just stamp with it however you like it. Um, but I just wanted something in those corners. And usually I have a prototype, but I just had this all in my mind. So we're just going as we, creating as we go along. <laughs> okay. So... I am going to take um, <clears throat> my blending, my Stampin' Blend here, and I am going to, I got to figure out which, you have a big side, which gives you that, and then you have a smaller side which lets you do finer. And that's the side that I'm going to get. So, I'm just going to take and color in some of these here thingies. And like I said, this is not my strong point, but because the dye's light laid on it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna color a little bit of that. I'm just winging it. Um, I am. <laughs> um, I'm just winging it. I have some of my Stampin' Up! sisters that does really well with um, stamping and coloring. But, like I said, this is just me. I'm going to take and put some right here. And then I'm going to take and put some right here. No rhyme, no reason. That's looking kind of cute, y'all. What y'all think? Then I see some of them, they just go with the lines. So that's what I did right there. I'm going to take and color this one here. And just color this right here. I'm just going along what I see. Okay, and knowing this one, I'm going to go and go up right there look y'all i'm almost done i think i'm almost done i'm gonna put some more in a few more places you know you always got to get this your centerpiece so i'm covering over those right there what do y'all think how is it looking okay i think that looks good enough for um, coloring for me. I just had to have some colors. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to put some on my little corner flowers here as well. I think I might get used to this here coloring. 
So if you've never used um, our Stampin' Blends, purchase like one or two sets and then just play with them. I'm going to do that again. Here I'm doing, and I'm not coloring the whole um, flower. I'm just coloring some of them. Okay, and I think, look at that. I think I like that, y'all. Okay, so I said I was going to be doing a little bit of blending. So I did choose the Berry, Blackberry Bliss. So I'm opening up my ink and I'm going to dab this like this here. Just getting some up on you. I don't want a whole lot. I just want it to have a little shadow. So here it is. I'm just going to go like this here. And then I'm just going to go over my part like that. Want to give it some color. I think that is cute. I think that's gorgeous. Just wanted to give it some of that color. And um, I'm done. I'm done blending. So, that was my hardest part. <laughs> that was my hardest part. So, we're going to move this out the way. Then, I want to go on and stamp my cinnamon. Because, like I said, um, it is clean and simple. So, it doesn't take a whole lot. Um, and then, I'm just going to go on and put it together. Okay. So, here I have my sentiment. And it says, congratulations. Um, this calls for celebration. So I'm going to get my ink here again, my Blackberry Bliss. And I'm just going to ink this up really good. Okay, put that down. And always close your ink back up if you don't want to have a mess on your hands from all the ink. Okay. Now I'm just going to take this here and just stamp. I'm going to stamp right here, down on here. Okay, it looks like it is black, but it's not. It is Blackberry Bliss, and it goes with the actual paper, okay? So, it is time for us to start putting this baby together. So, I am going to take my first card base, the bit card base and I'm going to take it and fold it in half and then fold it back okay I love to do fun folds it said clean and simple it is going to be clean and simple but I just love to do fun folds okay so here I have this now I told you we have some um texture that we have to put on it so by the magic of my stamp cutting emboss machine we have our texture i ran these through the cut embossing machine so this is what we have as our texture elements so i'm just going to bring my little liquid glue in over here and we're going to start layering things down okay when you have embossing, you want to make sure that you put enough glue on here to get into the groove so that it actually will stay and adhere to the paper. Okay. So there's my first one. Then I'm going to put one right here and I'm going to put the big one right there. 
I don't know if you can see, but they actually had look like they have words on them. So I wanted to make sure that I have the words facing the right way. So here I have, I'm putting this one here. And the type of card that I am doing is called a Z fold. It's a fun fold card. And um, a Z fold, you can put pattern paper on it, but because I had to keep it clean and simple, I just went on ahead and put the coordinating colors together. Okay, so here we have this right here. So that's my first piece. And then I'm bringing my second piece of berry, Blackberry Bliss paper. And I'm going to fold it and then fold it back. Okay. So I told you this is a fun fold card. So it's going to go like this. It's going to go like this. And it's going to close like that. Okay. So let me see here. And I have to fix my edges here because you are hanging over too far. So, and it's easy to fix it. You just bring it back, even though I've scored it. You just make it even and then just bring this back. Uh oh. Let's see here. You just even those up. Okay, and then I'm having some difficulties because I have my risk is bothering me today. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that was even. Okay, so my other piece that I'm going to be putting on here is going to go right here. And then I'm gonna put my sentiment right there. Okay, so let's take and put this one right here. And then we're going to put the sentiment right here. Guys, we are almost done. We are almost done. We're going to put our sentiment right here. And then we're going to take and put our... Um, focal point image right in the center here I'm just going to take that and put that right here in the center and you guys know exactly what I'm going to do next I'm going to take um, my ribbon here and I'm just going to put it right here but I'm going to take and I'm flipping it on the back I'm flipping it on the back and I'm just going to put use my stamp and seal and I'm just going to run a line up so that it will stay um, so here we go right there so that stays there and then I'm going to take and bring this over like this. You guys can see. Bring that over like that. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it. Y'all excuse that noise. That's my neighbor with his vehicle. So now, the only thing left for me to do 
is to bring this in and glue it. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. So I'm gonna take and put some glue on the back of here. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this right here. And I'm just going to try and even it, just look even where I want it. And so I'm going to put this and rub that down here. Just seal that there. And then on this side, I'm just going to take and flip this over. And I'm going to put glue on this side. Put some here to make sure that that stays down. And flip this back over and glue that. Just hold it and glue that down. Coming along pretty good, huh? And then I'm going to make a fake bow. So all I do is take my ribbon and tie it and make a bow. Just knot it like that. And then I'm going to take that and put that right there. But I'm taking one of my glue dots here. You can see, taking one of my glue dots off of here. And I'm going to put right here on the back of my ribbon. And then I'm just going to put it right here. So it'll stick right there. Right there. On that ribbon. And then I'm going to just kind of snip. Snip this off a little bit. Uh, I don't even know what I did with my actual snips. That's what I need to have. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to snip this one and make it look nice and pretty. There we go. The last thing I'm going to do is get me some bling bling here. And get me some bling. And put on my card. So here I have a bling. I'm going to put one right here in the center. Put one over here. I have another one? Yeah, I got too many little blings up on me. I'm going to put one right here. And I usually do things in threes or odd numbers. I'm going to put one right there. Let's take one and put outside right here. Okay, and then let's put one on the gray. I'm going to put one on the gray. Mm, no rhyme, no reason. Okay. So I'm just going to take and just kind of reinforce um, my folds here. Because even with a um, with the fun fold, it's not going to go all the way down, but if you can see, it opens like this. Okay? And then if you stand it up, that's what it looks like. That's why it's called a Z fold. So, the elements for the roll of the die, I have my neutral colors. I did my coloring in my flower. I have my congratulations. I have my texture here with my embossing folder 
And then I think this is a clean and simple car. What do you guys think? Thank you guys for joining me today for our roll of the die for April. Enjoy the rest of your day, but don't forget to go and YouTube hop with my other fellow demonstrators and see what they created. Again, if there's anything that you have liked or would like to purchase from my demonstration, you can go to www.karenfinley.stampinup.net. Don't forget to like, share, and hit that bell so whenever I go live, you will get notification that um, I am live, okay? Thank you guys again, and have a great Resurrection Sunday.